Welcome to the next section, Voronoi Diagrams and Heat Maps. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with simple Voronoi Diagram. When we talk about Voronoi Diagrams, it is good to start with understanding what a Voronoi Diagram is. Wikipedia provides a nice short explanation of this. In mathematics, a Voronoi Diagram is a partitioning of a plane into regions based on distance to points in a specific subset of the plane. Set of points are called seeds. Sites or generators is specified beforehand. For each seed, there is a corresponding region consisting of all points closer to that seed than to any other. These regions are called Voronoi cells. In other words, we define a set of points on a 2D surface. The Voronoi diagram divides the surfaces into cells based on their distance to each of the points. It's easiest to understand by looking at an example with this set of random points. The resulting Voronoi diagram will look like this. As you can see, the rectangle is divided into cells based on the distance to each randomly positioned point. We can easily create this example using D3. The first thing we need to do is create the set of random points using this highlighted code. Note that while we explicitly draw them on the screen in this example, this isn't actually needed since D3 only needs to know the location of the points. Now that we have drawn the points, we will see the code to create the polygons for the Voronoi. Use this line of code, we color the cells. Next, using this line of code, we will set up the Voronoi generator for the complete area. After that, we create polygons with the data function using this code snippet. And finally, we define the poly to path function. Here, we use the d3.voronoi function to convert the set of random points to set of Voronoi cells we can draw. When creating a Voronoi, we also need to specify the area that is used to bound the Voronoi. For this example, we use the complete SVG area. When we call the Voronoi.polygons function, we get a 2D array where each element contains an array of points that make up that specific Voronoi cell. The result of this function is shown here. The interesting thing about Voronoi diagrams is that they become more beautiful when the number of points is increased.